You're waking up to Good Morning Idaho. And welcome back on your Wednesday morning. Well, as fall arrives, inevitably, so do the seasonal colds and everyone's favorite, the dreaded flu. And that's why it's so important to protect your kids and yourself from the sickness. So this morning, we brought in an expert, Nurse Monica Cavazos. Can I get it right, Monica, yes. from Primary Health, to tell us everything we need to know. Good morning, Monica. Good morning. Thanks for being here. So the first thing we're going to talk about is who, uh, why should people get vaccinated? Why is it important for people? So influenza can be a very serious illness. We know its symptoms can range from a few days to a few weeks. If, if their kids are missing school, sore throat, headache, fever, adults are missing work. And if you get serious influenza, we're talking hospitalizations, possibly pneumonia, possibly death. And influenza can affect anyone, including people that are usually healthy. Okay, so that leads us to the next question. Who should get vaccinated? We think of it as, as kids, right? Kids every year get your flu shot. Right. Maybe if you're pregnant, you hear about it. Right. But you're saying it, it's a much broader group. Absolutely. It, right? Absolutely. Everyone six months of age and older should get an annual influenza vaccine. Um, having said that, like you mentioned, people who can have those complications from influenza are children under the age of five, adults 65 and over, pregnant women, and then those people with chronic conditions such as asthma, diabetes, cancer, heart disease. Um, overall, the more people in the community that get vaccinated, the more you prevent influenza from spreading throughout the community. Yep, absolutely. And I just just to tell everyone, I'll be getting a flu shot yes. here in about half an hour. So we'll see how easy and quick and painless it is. Absolutely. And this year, though, there is something kind of new that has to do with the strains and the number of strains and what's being vaccinated for. Can you talk about that right, a little bit? Right, right. So historically, influenza vaccine has had three strains, two A's and one B. This year, some manufacturers were able to produce vaccine that has four strains, two A's and two B's. Hmm. So the idea is that it will offer more protection, but not all manufacturers were able to produce the four strain. So overall, only about one third of the doses in the US have four strains. So the idea from the CDC is just to get the vaccine. Okay. Don't wait for this product or that product to get vaccinated. It will offer you protection. Okay, perfect. Good to know. And again, we'll be doing a vaccination. I'll be getting my shot live in about half an hour. So Monica's going to be back with us. But Great. for now, Spencer, I'll send it over to you. All right. Thanks. Rachel. So ahead on Good Morning Idaho, California. Oh. All right, welcome back on your Wednesday morning. Sorry, we're scrambling to get poor Monica mic'd up here. So if you see a cord dangling, just ignore it. We can still talk about some great information that you're sharing. We're talking flu vaccines today. There is a reason why I'm sitting in the chair and why you are not. I'll be getting a flu shot here in a moment. But first, Monica, we wanted to talk a bit about the types of vaccines that are available. I'm getting the shot today, but there are other options you for are. people, right? Right. So there's the flu mist also, which is a nasal spray. The injectable vaccine that you're getting today is an inactivated vaccine, which means it's a killed vaccine. The mist is a live vaccine, although it's called attenuated, which means weakened. So neither of these vaccines can cause flu virus. Okay, interesting. And is there a difference between, I know we a few moments ago, we talked about the three versus the four strain vaccine, what they protect against. Is there a difference in the strains that they'll protect against between the mist and the shot? Actually, yes, the mist is the one vaccine that covers four strains. So if you receive the mist this year, it does have the four strains. Okay. And then on the injectable, some do and some don't. Some have three and some have four. And I'm guessing the mist is popular with kids. Absolutely. <laughs> and it only it can only be administered to people two to 49 years of age. Okay. So it does have a smaller range. There. Okay. But today we are doing the typical flu shot. So why don't you exactly. kind of get it ready? Tell us what okay. you're doing. All and right. what people can expect if they go in for their for their vaccine. Sure. Well, I'm just gonna wipe the top off here. Already cleaned my hands. Okay. And I'm just going to draw up some product. Okay, so you're getting it ready. Getting and again, and ready. I don't have a fear of needles, but I know some folks do. So, so maybe usually I you're turn away. And maybe you look the other way for a moment. But um, and it is important also for adults to get shots because again, we always think about kids. Exactly. Getting vaccinated, but you say everyone. Everyone six months of age and older. Get one. And six months of age or older, that's a good point too. Mm -hmm. And Spencer was talking about his little guy needing to get a flu shot. He's about 18 months old and he'll need to get two rounds. Is that right? If this is his first year getting the flu vaccine, yes, he'll need two vaccines okay. at least 28 days apart. Okay, good to keep that in mind as well. 
Okay, I'm ready. All right. I'm gonna be sporting a nice camo band-aid, she said, after this is all said and done, so that'll be fun. Okay. So I'm just gonna find my mark here, a little okay. bit of alcohol, relax this arm. There you go. Ah, oh, much better. <laughs> Do I look relaxed? I'm not looking. You guys tell I say I'm not afraid of needles and I'm not gonna look. <laughs> all right, quick and painless, dry. right, Monica? Yep, one okay. little stick here. And we're done. Done. Look at that. Oh, round of applause. Thanks, guys. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's a little band-aid. <laughs> all right. So, again, I know you're with Primary Health. Um, and this is so quick and easy. This is about all it takes. If you need to walk Absolutely. in, um, you can get people vaccinated on in the spot. In and out, right? Mm -hmm. In and out. All right. Monica with Primary Health, thanks for being with us. Thank get you. Get your flu vaccine. It's not it's not scary. It's okay. okay. And you can always do the sniff if you need to, right? Exactly. Okay, Monica, exactly. thank you. And Spencer, I'll send it over to you.